I'd like to talk about directional solidification as a means to purify material. And I had several questions in class about this, so that's why I'm, I'm addressing it here. So let's, let's draw a simple phase diagram. So I got the simple phase diagram. Yeah, I've got composition, and I've got temperature. And this is a A, B component, uh, A, B component, uh, two, two element uh, mixture. High temperature, I've got liquid. Low temperature, I've got alpha. The intermediate, I've got alpha plus liquid. Darken these up a little bit here. So I mentioned in class that we sometimes use directional solidification as a means, or I said we use uh, these phase diagrams and the two phase regions as a means of purification. And one way to do this is through directional solidification. So what you can do is you can create, say, a uh, crucible, and these would typically be the uh, long rods, uh, and in that crucible, fill it with our you know, mixture, some AB, and we're going to have it be a liquid. So let's say that we have something which is uh, over here, call this X, B, 1, the, the first composition we start out with. Well, what we can do, heat it up, cool it down, and when we cool it down, we're not going to cool it down uniformly. We're going to make this side cold and this side hot. So we've got a furnace over here, and say we're, we're pulling this crucible out of the furnace. And if we do that, this die is gonna to start to solidify. So we're gonna to start to get solid that forms. And the composition of that solid is going to be here. X the alpha one. It's the first alpha that's coming out of here. Call this alpha. Call this liquid. So what we'll do is we'll go to a point, and then we're gonna take, we're gonna stop it, we're gonna pull our solid out, throw away our, uh, well, throw away, recycle our uh, AB liquid. And now we're going to take that solid, put it in a crucible, and we're going to melt it. So if we melt that, it'll have a little bit less volume, of course, you know. But it's going to have composition here, which I'm going to call XB2. We melt it. We've got to go to considerably higher temperatures now, of course. But we melt it, and again, we cool it down, preferentially from the left side, keeping the right side hot. Cool it down. The first solid that forms over here. liquid, that first alpha that forms is going to be X, B, alpha 2. So just two passes alone, we've basically gone from something which is about 70% about, uh, B to something which is closer to 5% B. So if we, we stop this, and again we throw away or recycle our liquid, 
that solute, that solid which comes out is much closer to pure A. And you can see that as you continue to do this, you're going to get more and more pure uh, A that forms. And this form of directional solidification uh, is used by many industries, uh, notably the semiconducting industry, uh, for purification. And there's some other tricks they use, uh, for example, having a, a, a liquid zone that, that passes through. And if you're interested in that, we can, we can talk outside of class. But I just wanted to mention that this is a kind of a neat technology that comes about because of uh, uh, phase uh, segregation.